In this video, I'm going to talk about create array function within Microsoft Power Automate. Create array function returns an array from multiple inputs. Create array function it takes input as elements of array. The, the input can be a string. Okay, now remember it should be in a single quotes. Okay, uh, integer, float, boolean, etc. Now it will output an array with array elements. So as unlike in other programming languages where an array should have a specific data type, now in Power Automate Create Array, you can have an uh, element with various data type. As I told you, it can be the string, integer, float, or boolean. Now, it is mostly used in Compose Action. So as you see over here in the screenshot, I have created a create array function, and then I have inputted string, number, uh, decimal like the float value uh, boolean uh, and again a string okay so let's uh, jump into the demo now here i'll be creating uh, one flow which is uh, basically uh, a trigger or uh, with a manual trigger interface so let me go back and uh, let me write start from here so let me create an instant flow and i'll call it as demo array manually trigger a flow i'll click on create okay and i'll just save this okay now let me switch to the classic designer okay here yeah now let me uh, before even going to create array let me take a compose action okay now here i have a compose action now here in the compose action i will have an array okay so opening and closing bracket and then let me put some values okay so let me call it as australia okay so this is a string okay so this is a string then let me put a double quotes now okay and brisbane and i can put some numbers i can put decimal number which is a float uh, and i can put a uh, boolean value okay let me save this okay and let me run this flow now we have not yet used uh, any create array function over here i'm just demonstrating to you how to use an array in compose action and what is the difference between creating a compose array uh, and uh, using a create array so if i run this i will be able to see that an array has been created okay so if you see here an array has been created with a single quote string with a single quote string with a double quote string number number float value and a boolean value okay so that's what you can do with compose okay now coming back to the demo again going back into the edit and now let's use create array okay so let me click on new step and oh uh, for that again we will use a compose action okay and here under inputs if i go into the function okay expression say create array and create array i put a single quotes and I will type in say Germany okay and I save this now see it is not complaining me okay again I go back here and instead of single quotes let me put a double quotes now okay and save it will not work so you need to have a string value in single quotes only so that is for sure okay now again with that same example which we have created so let me and say one string then another string and then some numbers say two comma four and then uh, some float value and then boolean boolean okay and click on save and if i click on save here then this create array function uh, is now outputted those values so now once i save this and run this flow i 
I should be able to see the value which has been assigned by the creator a function. So I'm running this flow. Once this is done, I'll see the output. Now, if you see the output, Germany, Berlin, 2, 4, 5.432, true, false. Okay. See the string, double quotes, no single quotes allowed. Okay. If you see the compose array action, here I have a single quotes and I can have double quotes as well. So that's the only difference I, I was able to find out. Rest all things look similar to me. And uh, this basically outputs an array in this format. So if you see show raw output, this is in this format. Okay. And if you see this output, this is in this format. Okay. But here again, double quotes, no single quotes, but output is in double quotes. Here it can be double quotes and single quotes as well. So that's it, folks. This is all about creating an array within Microsoft Power Automate. Thanks for watching.